Is it better to give a present or is it better to receive a present or get a present? Is it better to give one? Yes. Yes? Uh, my, my question is to receive my <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's what I thought you'd say. Welcome back to the Brad and Rach vlog. It is early in the morning. We're about to get the twins up so that they can see. Look what Joy did last night. <laughs> She's silly. <laughs> what is she doing? Is she walking like that? No. Oh, let's see. That's so silly. Maybe she was helping Santa wrap presents last night. Oh. Crafty. Isn't she silly? <laughs> so what are you doing? We're gonna get presents. Who are we getting presents for? Linda and Bear. Yeah. But Linda, who she's are not you wrong. Gonna, who are you gonna get presents for? Bear. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. So on the theme of going on one-on-one -on -one dates, we're gonna try to do this more regularly. And so we're switching it up this time. But it is the Sunday before yeah, Christmas and so we're basically yeah, done with Christmas, Christmas shopping for everybody. However, we had the idea, actually, so Brad had the idea simultaneously as I read a, a comment that said, you should have Bear go get a present for Lyndall and have Lyndall go get a present for Bear. What about Eloise? We should probably have them pick something out for Eloise too and do, but that is something that I feel like needs to be like a really low price limit on because that is a lot of gifts that we're gonna be. And they have a decent amount of gifts already. I wanted to show you, I wanna show you one of them. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I wish I could tell you this right now because it is the last day that you can purchase these and it'll get there by Christmas. I actually got an email from Cuddle and Kind, the company. Oh my ghost. And it said they have their own shop on, I'm sorry if I made you dizzy. They have their own shop on Amazon. And so you can get free two day shipping if you order from the Amazon website. But it's the Cuddle and Kind dolls. I am so impressed with this thing. I'm gonna unwrap it because I had originally kept it wrapped up after I looked at it because I thought I was gonna give it to her that way. But I'm gonna have this just out in the baby bed that I ordered that I'm gonna paint. So this is the doll. It's way bigger than I pictured even though they literally tell you how many inches tall it is. I love it. This company is so cool. It's really cool. They are on a mission to end childhood hunger and so every doll feeds 10 kids. So they've donated over eight million meals so far. And they also employ like artisans in, I can't remember what country it is, but they're literally handmade by these women. And so these women have sustainable, you know, good employment. And it's just a great company all the way around. They're ethical, sustainable. They employ um, these women in, I, can't, I wish I could tell you which country, but I can't remember. And they also donate meals back for every purchase. Really, really cool company. It's Cuddle and Kind. And this is the Zoe the Unicorn. Everything she does is magic. And it's just really cool. I think she has her own little story here. But Lyndall's gonna love this. They had a pink unicorn too, but they were out of stock in the big version, unfortunately. So that is her Christmas gift. We are headed to the store now to pick out a present for Lyndall and Eloise. I have Bear with me. We did a date kind of the opposite last time where Brad had Bear and I had Lyndall and now I have Bear, Brad has Lyndall. And I think what we should do Bear is go 
get a cake pop? What do you think about that? We should get a cake pop and then who should we get a present for? Mundo. Good idea. Noe. Perfect. Daddy. One for Daddy. Yeah, I like that idea. Yeah, one for me too. You are the sweetest little boy ever. Okay, let's do it. Um, that sounds great. What do you want to look for for Lyndall? What what should we get her? Um, a new baby doll. A new baby doll. Oh my goodness, she's gonna have a lot of baby dolls. A blue one. A blue one. Yeah. Okay. All right. What's oh. That right there. Yeah. yeah, right there. We're going in that store right there. Yeah. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how was your cake pop? Good. Oh, good. I'm <laughs> so glad. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Good job, buddy. Here we go. You Whoa. Ready? Whoa. 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 Are you ready to go in and pick out a toy? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Time to tag team. Are you ready? We are ready. Are you set? We are set. Are you really, really ready? Let's go, Lando. Are you sure you're ready? Do you know what book that's from, Bear? We have to hurry up and get, we have to hurry up and get the presents inside so they can't see them. We need a distraction. So I figure Bear and I will wrap these while you guys are gone. Okay. All right, let's get the presents and take them inside and get them wrapped so Lyndall can't see them, okay? Okay. That is some bird seeds. Oopsie. Okay, let's go take that in the garage and hide it. Hide it. Let me know if you've ever hidden a present and hid it from yourself too. We have yet to do that, but I know I know it'll happen sooner rather than later. All right, let's put it in here for right now okay. so Lyndall can't see it. Just set it right there and we'll wrap it once they leave, okay? Well, you only don't have to sit in your car seat if we're no longer driving. So okay. like we're at the toy store, so you can get out of your car seat and enjoy your cake pop. Okay. You gonna take a big old bite out of it? Not yet. What are you waiting for? Christmas? <laughs> so, Lyndall, who else did you want to buy a present for besides Bear and Eloise? Um, Pocket. And whose Pocket? Over oh, there. Pocket is your baby doll. Here's Pocket. <laughs> so you also wanted to buy a present for Pocket? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What did you? What kind of present do you want to get her? Um, we can see. Okay, we'll just have to see if they have anything in the toy store for Pocket. All right. Mm -hmm. Hmm. What do you think, Lyndall? Does he like Legos? No. No, no on the Legos. Okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's like a rocking chair. Hmm. Animal safari. Pots and pans. Remember, Lyndall, we're here for Bear. What do you think Bear would want? I don't know. Monster truck? Over there. Very cool. Those sure are pretty baby dolls, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Hey, Lyndall, remember, we're here for baby Eloise and Bear. Okay? Bear will like this for him. You think? Yes. I'll pick it out for him and see if he likes it. <laughs> Honey. I don't think Bear's going to like that. Maybe, Maybe let's look for something else. Maybe Eloise will like it. <laughs> okay, so we got something for Eloise. The Huggable Interactive Octopus. Now let's get something for Bear. So what would you end up getting for Boo Bear? For a gift? For a present? What? What is it? In a, in a T-Rex statue. <laughs> yeah, it's a... Uh, it's a big old truck and a dinosaur and a big man. He's going to love it. Is that fun, getting presents for Bear and Eloise? Mm -hmm. Good. How's the cake pop? Good. Good. Operation Paint Lindell's Baby Doll Bed Pink. Now that I've got the project about halfway done, I can offer some advice to my former self and probably say, use spray paint, maybe do a primer coat of spray paint, 
because this thing absorbs a ton of paint and my little guy is not gonna make two coats on it. So definitely use a, like a base coat of something. <laughs> Spray paint would have been much, much easier than getting in all of these crevices with a giant paintbrush. But you know what, we'll get it done. I'm really glad I'm not doing it on Christmas Eve. Speaking of waiting until Christmas Eve, we probably should get Eloise's triangle put together <laughs> before Christmas Eve. You think it'll be tough? Yes. Really? Yes. Okay. You look, you look like your face is glowing. <laughs> this new skin routine I've been doing. I love it. Will you share it with us later, please? <laughs> well, we decided to go ahead and let them open it so that they, they understand that this one's from Bear, this one's from Red. Oh, that one's for baby Eloise. Yours is the other one, the big one. This guy has such a big heart. He wanted her wrapping to be perfect. Really? Yes. Uh -oh. You're excited? Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, it makes, I think it makes more sense to them picking out the present in the morning and then opening them in the afternoon just because it's like, if we made them wait several days, it would be so far removed from the original activity that I just felt like it was good that they did this close together. And you just can't have a present under the tree at this age for days and days. Ooh, good job, Eloise. From Bear and Lindell, Eloise. This is from Bear and Lindell. Lindell, what'd you get? What is it? Eloise is playing with a breast pump part. <laughs> Eloise. I got it twice. Whoa. Wow. Castle. Can you play with that in the bathtub? Yes. Cool. That's awesome. Whoa, Whoa you Bear. You want me to open it? What okay. did you get, Bear? What did Alice get? What did Alice get? Well, honey, you picked it out. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember what you picked out for her? Let me see, Bear. <laughs> what is it? What is it, Bear? Can you open it, Emily? That looks so Whoa. awesome! It has a triceratops in it. Yeah! I thought he had fun. He got that. Yeah! for him. Yeah, it's That's awesome. Bear, Bear picked out your pink castle for you. Bear, did you see Lindell opened up her pink castle that you picked her? Yeah. I'm opening it. Oh, there it is. It's right here. Okay. Yeah, she has to learn how to open presents. She's not not as good at it as you guys are. Eloise, this is yours. <laughs> So fun! <laughs> you put it up the porch. I pulled the thing out. Oh, you did already. Yeah, maybe is there a place that you have to turn it on? Aww. <laughs> Go bear. Go boo bear. <laughs> so cool. So this thing looks like it. If you set it on the ground, it. Twists back and forth and stuff. Oh, does it? Looks like it. Oh. Yeah, let's get yours open, buddy. You know, for Ooh. Christmas, I think we should have every single one of their. Not that they have many, but. Oh, wow! <laughs> <laughs> Eloise loves it. <laughs> now she won't be fighting over the snowman. Yeah, yeah, true. That's so yeah, for Christmas we should have everything that's like this already open and undone and batteries in it and really? <laughs> wrap it like that. Yes. Not a bad idea. What do I got here? What do we have here? What do we have here? Wow. wow. Now we can build a castle. Whoa. So this one, they also had one that was a police station or something oh, of these yeah. foam blocks. Whoa. 
And Bear wanted that one, of course, but he's like, Lyndall wants this one, talking about the police one. I was like, well, Bear, I think she might want the pink one. This is so neat. And then this, Lyndall, we can put in the bathtub, and this will float, and we can build a castle, a pink castle in the bathtub. Oh, okay. Hey guys, I have a question for you. Look at me. Is it better to give a present or is it better to receive a present or get a present? Is it better to give one? Yes. Yeah. Yes? My, my question is to receive one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what I thought you'd say. So Bear, you prefer to give a present. Lyndall, you prefer to receive a present. Uh-huh.